I used to think he was my friend long, long ago. I had hit a roadblock in my investigation of Gravity Falls until I found some mysterious writing in a cave, ancient incantations about a being with answers. It warned me not to read them, but I was desperate. I read the inscription aloud, but nothing happened until later that afternoon when I had the most peculiar dream. Smart guy. Smart guy. Smart guy. Smart guy. Yeah. Whoa, don't have a heart attack. You're not 92 yet. Who are you? Name's Bill. And your name's Stanford Pines, the man who changed the world. But I'm getting ahead of ourselves. Let's relax. Care for a game of interdimensional chess? Have a cup of tea. He told me he was a muse, that he chose one brilliant mind a century to inspire. What a fool I was, blinded by his flattery and games. He became my research assistant. He was free to move in and out of my mind as he pleased. We were partners. When he told me that I could complete my research by building a gateway to other worlds, I trusted him. He said this was the way genius happened, with a little help from a friend. It seemed that I was on the verge of my greatest achievement. Until my partner got a glimpse of Bill's true plans. Bill, you lied to me. Where does that portal really lead? Oh, looks like Mr. Brainiac finally got smart. Let's just say that when that portal finishes charging up, your dimension is gonna learn how to party. Right, guys? No, I'll stop you. I'll shut it down! A deal's a deal, Sixer. You can't stop the bridge between our worlds from coming, but it would be fun to watch you try. Cute even! I'd been betrayed. I shut the portal down, severing the link between Bill's world and ours. I had to hide my instructions so no one could ever finish Bill's work. Bill's been waiting for the gateway to reopen ever since. All he needs to do is get his hands on this rift. To Bill, it's just a game. But to us, it would mean the end of our world. Oh, man. Oh, man, indeed.